text constraint is the attachment constraint. What we want to do is we want to attach this toy car to this spring, and the spring is already pre-animated, so we get a spring toy for in the kids' playground. So what we need is select this one, animation, constraint, attachment constraint, and now attach it to the spring, and you will see all kind of weird things happening. So it's jumping to a position, which is obviously not the right one, because this is not what we want. Um, so what we need to do is fool around with the settings of the attachment constraint, and these are the settings. So what you can see is that it is attached now to the helix, so to the spring down here. And what we need to do is we need to find out which face number, because if I play around with this number, the attachment jumps from one face to the next one. And, well, you can obviously see that it will take a tremendous amount of guessing to find out where it's supposed to go. But fortunately, there is something like this set position. So we do this. We click and hold in our viewport, and then we can see by moving, we can move around the spring and find the proper face we need. So what I like to do usually is put it down here somewhere. Let's do a F3, zoom in a little bit. Um, you can see the gizmo is down here. So now if we move it around, so I want to have let's say this one. Okay. I don't worry, as you can see, I don't worry about how this toy car is positioned. I'll take care of that later. So that's the first one. So then you can fool around with these numbers if you want to. You can swivel it around on the face. This is the representation of the face we're at now. It's 9000 whatever. And so you can do it in this direction or you can do it in this direction or you can just pick it up here and fool around with it. So, But we'll leave it, let's say, down here. We don't need this, the tension and uh, the bias continuity. Continuity, that's a difficult word. Tension continuity bias. Um, because we leave it like that, we want it to have this kind of simulation. So to get it on the proper position, we need to do something with the pivot of this toy car. And we need to affect the object only. So what we'll do is I'll switch to a left view and I'll start moving around with the car itself. So it needs to go upside down. So we're just now we are just uh, influencing the position of the object towards the pivot point. It needs to go up. Let's do an F3 to see where we're at. So if we put it down here somewhere, let's see what happens. Oh, wrong side. Um, so it needs to go 90 degrees. Something like this. Here you go. And now let's do a front view. Oh, turn it around 180 degrees. Move it around a little bit to something like this. Simulate. And here you go. There it is. There it is. So that's good. So you can now turn it off. Go back to the shaded mode. And if I now play this one, you can see it is properly attached to the proper face. So that's what you do with this attachment constraint. Attaching one object to the face of another object. Settings in your motion panel, here they are. I've briefly discussed them, so which one, where do you want to do it? You need a continuous update, yes. You want to fool around with the setting of the face, but remember you can click and drag to point to the proper face. And if you need to do something with the tension, continuity, and bias, you can do it down here. But for now, we don't need that one. And that's it. Simple as that, but useful as well. Cheers.